Hi, I'm Brian James, and today I want to share with you some ways that I've gotten creative with the root practice. And this is really the goal of the art of yoga, is to modify and combine these different movements that we call vinyasas in ways that work for you, that work for your body and help you find your own flow. My root teacher, T. Krishnamacharya, was a musician, poet, and artist, as well as being a yogic scholar. And he would often compare vinyasa to music. In music, we combine melody and rhythm in a way that helps us to express something that's personal to us. And in the same way, in the art of yoga, we combine these different movements in a way that expresses something personal for us. So today I thought I'd share with you some of the ways that I've taken movements that I've learned from my teachers, combined them in new and unique ways, and also finding my own movements that work for my body, that give me what I need. And I hope this inspires you to experiment and to find your own flow. Okay, let's get started. And let's begin standing. Starting in this fundamental position, Tadasana, feet about hips distance apart. Take a moment to ground your awareness into your body. Start engaging with your breath. So the first step is finding a breath rhythm that works for you. And we want the inhale and the exhale to be equal. And every movement will follow that breath rhythm. Okay, bring your hands together at your heart center. Now this first sequence is a great warm-up that came to me one day on my mat and it combines movements that I've learned from a couple of my teachers. So we start here, centered. On your inhale, open your arms wide. On your exhale, twist to the right, bring your left hand to your right shoulder, look back. Inhale, come back to center, arms open wide. Full breath in, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come back to center, bring your arms up overhead, interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Exhale, lean to the right, let your hips move to the left. Inhale, centering. Reaching up, pressing down, exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend with soft knees. Touch the ground. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms reach up overhead, lift your heels off the floor, interlace your fingers, press your palms to the sky. And exhale, lower your heels, bring your hands back to heart center. Okay, that's the whole sequence, and we're going to repeat it a couple times. Inhale, arms open wide. Exhale, twist right. Keep your feet rooted to the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center, arms overhead, palms to the sky. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side stretch left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. 
Inhale, reach to the sky, lift your heels. Full Tadasana, full tree pose. Exhale, hands to your center, returning to Tadasana. One more time, inhale, open wide. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Remember to wait for your breath to tell you when to move. Inhale, center, arms overhead. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side stretch left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up. Lift your heels, full Tadasana. And exhale, land in your center. Take a moment, centering breath. Just noticing. Okay, let's move to the warrior. So once again, start with your feet hips distance. Try to keep that distance between your feet throughout the sequence. Inhale, arms come up. Look up, see your hands come together. Exhale, forward bend. Step your right foot straight back, heel on the floor, foot is turned out. Inhale, come up, warrior one. Exhale, forward bend. Repeat three more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Focus your inhale in your chest. Let that lift you up and focus your exhale in your lower abdominals. Find some strength there. Okay, next inhale, come up and stay. Take about four breaths here. When you stay in the posture, focusing on that steady breath rhythm, whole body awareness. Remember the posture must be steady and comfortable. So release any tension from your arms, shoulders, face, jaw. Let all the strength be in your legs here. Next inhale, straighten your front leg, look down. Exhale, forward bend. Feel free to bend the front knee. Bring your hands to the floor or to your leg. Now we wanna find a comfortable stretch in the front leg. And just breathe. See if you can shift your weight so that you're balancing the weight between your front foot and your back foot. Okay, soften your front knee, next inhale, press through your front leg, come up. And exhale, back to Tadasana. Hands at your heart, take a moment here. Whole body awareness, what's going on right here, right now? 
Okay, let's repeat that vinyasa on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Step your left foot straight back. Set up that stable foundation first. And then inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Three more times with movement. Inhale from above. Exhale from below with strength. Next inhale, come up, stay. Steady breath rhythm. Next inhale, straighten your front leg, look down. Exhale, forward bend. Soften your front knee as much as you need to to be comfortable. And then breathing. If you're pushing too hard, you're going to hear it in your breath. You're going to interrupt that steady rhythm. Next inhale, come up, press through your front foot. And exhale, step forward. Hands to your heart. Awareness in your body. Always coming back to your breath. You can think of your breath as the conductor. Setting the tempo and the rhythm of your practice. Everything else follows the breath. Okay, now for the triangle sequence. Open your legs up wide. Start with your hands together at your heart. Inhale, arms open wide. Exhale, left hand down by the right foot. Other hand to the sky, look up. Inhale, come up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come up. And just flow through that, following your breath.
Okay, one more time with movement. Remember to follow a rhythm that works for you. Make any adjustments to the postures that you need to in order to be comfortable. So bending your knees. Okay, on your next round, stay in each position for about four breaths. Start with the twist to the right. And remember, if it's uncomfortable to keep your arm raised, you can always bend your elbow, bring your hand to your lower back. If it's too much to keep your head turned up, you can look down. One option is to look up on exhale. And on the inhale, look down. There is an infinite way to modify all of these postures. Okay, on your next inhale, come up. And exhale to the other side. And keep your breath flowing and always scanning your body, making those little adjustments that you need to. And listening to your breath as a way to check in. Is my breath smooth and even? Am I trying to force things? Your breath is going to reflect that. All right, next inhale, come up. And we finish with the forward bend. So you can take your ankles with your hands. You could have your hands on the floor. Or you could grab opposite elbows and just let yourself hang out. Whatever variation you choose, it's coming back to your breathing. And there's this old saying in the Hatha Yoga tradition that when the breath is steady, the mind becomes steady. And this is because the breath always reflects our mental emotional state. And because we can work actively with our breath, we can shift our mental emotional state by making our breath long, smooth and even. Okay, next exhale, bring your hands to your waist Strong inhale to lift up. And take a moment, let your energy settle. You might even visualize your en energy settling down. Noticing how the body always knows how to find balance. Okay, bring your feet together. Let's do some balancing of our own here. So, you can start in Tadasana. Inhale, raise your arms out in front. Reach up and exhale, lift your right knee as high as you can. If you can take your shin, Draw your knee in. Inhale, both feet on the floor, arms raised. And changing legs every exhale. You might just touch your knee at first. Mm. 
And it will help your balance if you find a steady gaze point. We call this drishti. Drishti means steady seeing. So the eyes are steady. The breath is steady. And that helps our posture become more steady. Because the mind becomes steady. Okay, next time you've got a knee lifted, we're going to stay. Now, the posture is steady. Breathing steady. Gaze steady. Ultimately, the yoga practice is about learning how to focus our awareness. Gradually bringing it to a single-pointed awareness. Like channeling the flow of water. Okay, next inhale, release your leg, arms up. Exhale, other side. Next inhale, release, arms up, and exhale, arms float down. Take a moment, <clears throat> little gratitude for having two legs, two feet. Okay, come back to the front of your mat if you've left it. Find Tadasana. We're going we're gonna, to um, transition to downward dog and a couple more creative sequences. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Bring your hands right to the floor and step back to downward dog. Take a moment to adjust your posture. Next inhale, come forward into upward facing dog. Keep your toes curled under. Feel how that gives your feet a nice stretch and also stretches the front of your hips. And exhale back to down dog. Feel free to bend your knees in down dog. My dogs do it, so they're the masters. They teach us. This movement is <clears throat> really all about the spine. Of course, it's working on other parts of our body that we can feel. But try to initiate the movement in your spine. Spine is moving like a wave. One more time like that. Next inhale, bring your knees down. 
and exhale into child pose. Okay, this next vinyasa came to me when I was thinking about ways to incorporate more upper body strengthening into my practice. So we start in child pose. Inhale, come forward. So shoulders move past the hands. On your exhale, lower down to a low push up. Inhale, lift your chest into a lazy up dog. So the knees are on the ground. Exhale, press all the way back to child pose. Make any adjustments you need to to do that movement smoothly. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, lower down, keep your elbows in close. Inhale, lazy up dog, chest lifts, hips drop, and exhale, press all the way back into child pose. Okay, see if you can find a flow with that. Inhale. Exhale, feel the strength. Inhale, press through your hands. Exhale, press all the way back. Remember, keep it nice and slow. Be really mindful of your movement. So this mindfulness is really what distinguishes your vinyasa yoga practice from other forms of exercise. We're really focusing on the quality of the movement and linking breath and movement, which is the yoga, the integration. And you'll notice that when you coordinate the movement with your breath and you have that integration, it makes you stronger. Okay, let's do it one more time. And finish in child pose. Take a little rest. Let your arms relax, shoulders relax. At any point in your practice, if your breath becomes disturbed, take some time. Just let it return to that breath rhythm that's steady and even. And notice the connection between your heart rate and your breath rate. As the breath slows down, the heart rate slows down. And this is why the yogis would say that pranayama, breath control, helps to extend your lifespan. They believe that each person was born with a certain amount of heartbeats, a certain amount of breaths. So if we could slow down the body process, we would also extend our lifespan. And this makes sense if we consider that when we're relaxed, when we're not stressed, our heart rate is slower, our breath is slower. When we're stressed and agitated, the heart rate comes up, there's stress on the heart. Of course, this is going to wear on the heart. So, it makes sense. Okay, coming onto your back. 
Now we're going to link these two movements together, the legs straight up in the air and the bridge. So knees come into your chest. Inhale, straighten your legs, arms overhead. Exhale, knees to chest. Inhale, both feet on the floor. Press through your feet, lift your hips, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, lower your hips, draw your knees in. And repeat, inhale, legs to the sky, arms overhead. Exhale, knees to chest. Inhale, bridge up. Exhale, knees to chest. Two more times. Okay, this round, stay in each position. Start with the legs up. Here you can be quite active, really straightening the legs, flexing your feet. Or you could be more relaxed with the knees soft, feet relaxed. Notice any shaking in the legs. That's just your body discharging tension, discharging any energy that's been stored. So just let it happen, keep breathing. Okay, on your next exhale, bring your knees in. Inhale into the bridge. Stay and breathe. Really press both feet into the ground. Engage your backside muscles. Notice how that supports the opening in your front side. Okay, one more breath, and on your exhale, lowering down, drawing your knees in, take a little rest there. We'll finish with um, this breathing practice. Hands on your knees, feet relaxed, inhale, let your knees move away from your chest. Count to four and exhale for a count of four. Knees move toward the chest on exhale. Inhale, knees move away. Find that steady breath rhythm. Four count inhale, four count exhale. Now each exhale, add one to the count. So inhale for four, exhale for five. Inhale four, exhale six. Continue like that. Gradually extending the exhale. And if you haven't mastered the ujjayi breathing yet, you can breathe out your mouth making a ha sound like this. And 
keep going until you can slow down your exhale to your comfortable limit. And you'll know when that limit happens. You'll know when you reach that limit because you might start to gasp for air. So again, experimenting. Finding your own rhythm, finding your own flow. You know, if you play guitar and you're just learning the scales, you're not going to be able to play like Jimi Hendrix right away. It takes consistent practice to become a master. What does it mean to be a master? I don't know. Maybe the best we can hope for is to become efficient, competent, good enough, good enough to take care of ourselves. Good enough to do what we can. Okay, at a certain point, your body is just going to ask to rest. So, when you get that signal, just straighten out your legs. Let your arms fall open. Let go of your breath. Let go of any technique. Let go of any effort. Just move into a state of restfulness, just observing, feeling the weight of your body supported by the floor. Let your breathing return to its natural rhythm. breath guided by some invisible conductor. The same invisible conductor guiding the beating of your heart. The flow of blood through your veins and arteries. Just let nature take over. (laughs) 